Hey everybody, it's Ben with Red Barn and I'm posting another one of my workout videos with Darrow up at Sky High Fitness. Been staying with that um, every week. I've actually moved up to a few times a week with Darrow uh, because we've really been gaining some momentum. A couple things to talk about real quick before I show you the video. Number one, as, um, as an adult, plus 40 adult, uh, it's really, really important to not compare yourself to what you used to be when you were in your 20s, uh, teens and 20s. I know that it's a difficult thing for me. I know what my PRs were from when I was playing uh, sports and from when I was really working out heavily uh, in my 20s and 30s and just not there. It's been a long time since I've worked out. I let myself get way way out of control as far as that goes. Everybody, uh, I think I've talked about that. I, my heaviest here back in uh, February before I started this journey, I was at 340 pounds. And as of today, I'm at 249. Um, <clears throat> and a huge part of that uh, was, uh, you know, peeled off at the beginning. I've kind of flatlined as far as weight loss, but my clothes are continuing to get looser and looser and looser. So what that's telling me is I'm obviously, um, I'm getting more and more fit. My body's tightening up. I'm adding muscle. I'm still losing uh, fat and you can't get too hung up on what the scale says, especially um, when you're working out, you know, you're working out, you know, you're doing the work, you know, you're doing things and you're, you're, you're replacing that weight. Uh, you're losing the fat weight and putting on muscle weight. Uh, a couple other important things when you're working out, you see a lot of people, um, will do protein powders and post-workout powders and post-workout, uh, protein drinks and all that other stuff. Just be careful with all that because there are tons and tons and tons of synthetic chemicals in that stuff. The best thing to do and what I do is after every workout, I eat a um, pound of red meat. pound of red meat or a lot of salmon, chicken. I'm slamming a ton of protein after every workout and I'm seeing massive gains um, in putting on muscle mass because I'm eating high quality meat, uh, and natural meats, you know, of farm raised grass fed, uh, meat. I'm getting that from Slus farms. I've talked about that before. Uh, <clears throat> all my red meat, I raise my own pork. So, uh, we have our own pork so I can control what they eat. I know that they're getting good, clean food. Same thing with Slus farm stuff, all the chicken, all the red meat, uh, from them. I do like to mix in some salmon and fish. Uh, also uh, like to mix in some bison every once in a while. I love uh, some bison. Um, but it's important to have good high quality proteins after a workout. And I strongly recommend against using protein drinks, protein shakes, uh, all those synthetics, uh, any pre-workouts. I've added on my pre-workouts, I have some grapes and I've seen a great uh, pump because of that, uh, great workouts because I've added just four or five grapes. You don't need a pre-workout, uh, synthetic pre-workout. You don't need a Prime or a Monster or Red Bull, any of that crap. That's just once more putting um, chemicals in your body that were never intended to be in your body stay with natural stuff and you're going to see great gains. You're going to have great workouts. I have no problems with energy at all uh, with the diet that I'm on. I'm still pretty heavy on the carnivore. Like I said, I uh, have some grapes or blueberries before a workout now and seeing great results because of that. Um, I plan long-term because of the outstanding results from being on this uh, carnivore diet. I'm, I'm sticking with it. For, for good. A um, couple things that I uh, haven't talked about. Back when I was uh, still heavy, I was suffered from a lot of arthritis, a lot of inflammation, and I was taking um, 
was it called naproxen or uh, a leave? I was taking four to six a leave a day just to be able to work and function. My knees, by the end of the day, my knees and feet, <coughs> excuse me, were, I could, to a point where I <coughs> could barely walk. Now, uh, being on the carnivore diet, eating clean food, eating non-processed foods and zero sugars. The only sugars I have is natural sugars. And I'm going to be honest, maple syrup's not a natural sugar. Honey is a natural sugar, but it's got a ton of stuff in there. And when I do have a little bit of honey, I can feel it. Um, and you got to be careful what fruits you're eating because a lot of those fruits have been... Um, Uh, engineered to have maximum sugar in them so you got to be careful and you got to control how much of that you have but since going on to the carnivore and removing all processed foods and especially processed sugars carbohydrates I have not taken a pain pill since I started this my uh, inflammation was instantly gone I'm talking within days by day three, all the inflammation was gone in my shoulders, all my shoulder pain. I couldn't raise my hands behind, above my head at that point. Now I have full range of motion, my knees, my hands themselves. I, I work with my hands and no arthritis at all. All the inflammation is gone just from the diet. And then you add in the working out and getting the, the, the weight off and my body's feeling better and better every day. I cannot stress how important the diet is. Um, it is really the, the cornerstone to all this stuff. Eating healthy, removing processed foods. That is step number one. I also um, have been now, I've uh, stopped uh, drinking alcohol. It's gone. Uh, I was still having some when I was first starting out. And uh, for the last two months, uh, well, it's been more than that. I did have uh, I did have a glass when my younger brother got married back in September. Uh, congratulatory to him. But uh, for the most part, uh, haven't had a drink in four months. And once again, body's better for it. Uh, alcohol, you're just straight poisoning yourself. Uh, at the end of the day, you can't get hung up on what the scale says. You got to go by how your clothes feel. And for instance, this sweatshirt I'm wearing right here is an extra large and I'm swimming in this thing. I'm about ready to go down to a large. <clears throat> um, I still wear my pants because I love having super loose pants, but uh, I probably need to start ordering some new pants too because everything's super loose. Um, had to add another notch to my belt because I'm still leaning down. The weight, the scale still says 249, but I'm, the clothes are getting looser and looser and looser uh, with every day. And that's a combination of working out with Daryl, good quality workouts, focused workouts, and eating clean. I can't stress that enough. Those two things. So if you want to get back in shape, doesn't matter how much you weigh. It doesn't matter uh, what your age is. All my physical ailments went away as soon as I changed my diet, 100%. And then added in working out, and now I'm <coughs> strengthening my body while uh, detoxing it. So... Everybody enjoy the workout you're about to see. It was a good one. And uh, I hope this inspires some people to make some changes in your life uh, because uh, it's worth it at the end of the day. Everybody have a great day. Bye. All right, everybody. Today is another workout focusing mostly on open body. So you can see here I sped this up, but this is a nice overhead stretch really loosens up my shoulders. The first few ones, it is pretty tight and a uh, little uncomfortable, but as you see, as I go, I get farther and farther back. I do three sets of 20 with this. It's really stretching out the upper body. And uh, by the end of it, it's starting to feel, starting to feel pretty good. And uh, 
So like I said, three sets of 20, it's a great way to stretch out for a number body workout. All right, first thing on the day is uh, what I'm calling an inverted weighted row. Get down, make sure your back is nice and straight. You lean forward, pulling that weight up to your chest. I'm going a little fast here. Uh, should want a, a slower negative, but still one of my favorite workouts. It's great for the lats and your biceps and three sets of looks like 10. All right, next, like I said, still working on the upper body. So this is a isolated shoulder press. You go on one with the right, one with the left, then one with both. So you get a actually pretty high rep count on this one. Uh, by the end, you burned up pretty good. So make sure you're using a, a, a functional weight for this. At the beginning, it might feel light. By the end, uh, you're having a hard time squeezing these things out. So um, this is uh, like a, a, a what I call a isolated shoulder press. And you just work through this. Key thing is having a, a good weight. Uh, three sets of 10. All right, next. Like I said, still working on the upper body, doing lateral raises. Very important to have a usable weight here. It's all about the form, not as much as how much you're lifting. Uh, at the front side of it might feel really light, same as the shoulder press, but by the end, you're gonna be, your shoulders are gonna be screaming. So make sure you're using a usable weight, have good form, under control as you're going. I'm doing three sets of 10 here, but add a caveat to it. At the end of the lateral raise, is gonna to switch to a front raise and go to an actual lower weight for the front raise. As you can see, I can barely get my arms picked up there. I'm gonna come forward and straight to the front lateral raises. Once again, I did switch to a lower weight because I was having a hard time getting it into the air. Uh, that is important that you it doesn't matter if you can't lift it. If you're not doing good form, and that's what's more important. So front raises, this was a super set. So I literally went from one end to the other with about a 15 second um, break. So three sets of 10. Next, like I said, all shoulders, upper body going to overhead lateral raises with a straight bar. Uh, if anybody doesn't know, you've got this Olympic bar weighs 45 pounds. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. This is making my shoulders scream. Very, very important to have good form. As you're getting it up there, you see I'm whipping it a little bit. That's not good for you. So um, that's why I'm shaking my head no, because I know that my form is weak because I'm so tired. But this is how you, uh, you know, make changes. Really struggling here at the end, but I'm gonna keep squeezing it out. Yep, getting frustrated with myself, but it's okay to be frustrated. Don't give up because you're having a hard time. Keep working at it and you will get the weight up. It's all a matter of perseverance. Next is push-ups. Towards the end of the workout, shoulders are really hurting, so we're gonna rattle off some push-ups here. Three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure you're keeping your back flat. Don't uh, be one of those guys where your butt's popped up in the air or on the converse side, you're your hips are drawing towards the ground. Keep those shoulders flat, keep your, your, your butt flat, good form. I'm going as far as I can go. This was a two failure um, at the end of the workout. You can really see, I stopped for a second to try and get some more because it's all about the muscles built in the last three or four reps. All right, core to finish out, doing some weighted sit-ups. I got a 10 pound weight in my hand. Make sure you're not flopping your legs all around the place. I'm working hard to keep my feet flat. That's part of the workout. You see people stick the weight uh, over top of their feet or they'll use a table or something uh, to keep their feet from coming up. But that's taking apart 
taking away from the, the, the workout. That's part of, part of what you're supposed to be doing is keeping your feet down as you go. And if you add a person sitting on your feet, you're, you're stealing from yourself.